everyone, it's River Mist Stables, and I'm going to be doing a collection tour. I haven't done a collection tour with me actually speaking about the models in a really long time, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to start off with my main model room, I guess you want to call it that. I basically have models in my bedroom and models in a spare room in the house, and this room is the spare room where I have most of my models. I will give you guys an overview of that in just a second. So if you walk into my pony room, this is what you see. It's kind of a mess right now. There's kind of things all over the floor. I haven't really had a chance to tidy it up, but I don't really care. So so I will give you an overview of all of the shelves. There's four shelves along this wall in, and then a little savemate shelf over here. So here. Sorry if this is not in focus. I'm not the greatest at doing this. Oh, there's stuff on the top of the shelves as well. And then my curio cabinet is along this wall, with some of my resins, and it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And then if we turn around over here, there's more shelves, which are empty for some of my Briarfest horses. And then there's some horses up there, and then I have a whole bunch of ribbons and there's some horses over here and then there's some behind this door as well and then there's more ribbons over there so i'm really not going to go into detail of my stable mates unless they're customs um just because i have so many of them and it would take forever to go through them all and i don't remember all of their names to be quite honest so i'm just going to kind of give you an overview of my stable mate shelf on this wall um, these are just a couple of collect A's that I got in a grab bag that you get for Christmas kind of thing. Um, so they just kind of sit up here. And then we'll just keep going down the shelves. Sorry if it's out of focus. This corner is actually kind of dark so it doesn't like to focus very well. Here's where it starts to get really dark, so it's really not going to focus very well. So I apologize in advance if you can't see very well. Yeah, there's the last shot. This is a Roland resin uh, by Lisa Sharp. I obviously have yet to get them painted. I've had them for probably about four years now. I've been really wanting to get them painted and I have him with this base and he also has a smaller base over here but I much prefer him being on the bigger base. And then over here we have a Fluido resin if I'm saying that right. I don't know if I am but uh, he is also sculpted by Lisa Sharp. I've also had him for about the same time as the Roland resin and I'm not sure what color I want to get them painted as, to be honest. So they're both just kind of chilling up here until I figure out uh, what I want them painted as, and once I have money to actually get them painted, because I have a lot of resins being painted right now. So I kind of have like a little conga line of new in box celebration horses, which is kind of satisfying to me, I don't really know why. So we're going to start off with my new in box Pecos, who is from Briarfest 2011, as it says on his box. Uh, he is also signed as well. I don't know if it's going to focus very well. And then moving over to my new inbox, Mariah's Boone uh, from Briarfest 2012. I did not go to all these Briarfests. I have only been to three Briarfests, including the virtual one that just happened. <laughs> and then we have a, sorry about the light glare. I can't really, there we go. Um, a new inbox, um, Guitson, I guess you call him. I don't really know 100% how to pronounce his name. But he is from Briarfest 2014. We have a new inbox Simba who is from Briarfest 2015. And then we have a new inbox Imperador, which is actually one of the Briarfests that I went to. He is from 2016. And then a new inbox Nazrudin, who is from Briarfest 2017. 
And then a new unbox brass hat, who is from Briarfest 2018. And then, last but not least, we have a new unbox Oliver, who is also from another Briarfest that I went to from 2019. Next, I'm just going to do a little overview of my Schleich cows that I have sitting up here. I also have the Golden Schleich Donkey from the TSC stores. So I'll just do a little overview of all of them. Hopefully it is in focus because I can't see very well with them being up there. Okay, moving on to one of my resin and custom shelves. Here's a little overview of it. Um, I'm not 100% sure on some of the sculpts and paint jobs, so I apologize in advance, but I can at least tell you the names of the resins. So here we have a Loretta resin, I do believe it is. It's really nicely painted. You've probably seen pictures of her on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. And if you don't, it is River Mist Stables, just like my YouTube name. And then we have a Philadelphia resin, who is also very nicely painted. Unfortunately, she has a small crack in her leg, but I'm hoping that it's not going to affect her too bad. And then we have a Juno resin, who is like three pounds. He's so heavy. He's so small, but he weighs so much. And then in the back there, we have a unpainted Jadakiss resin. I'm hoping to get them painted soon. And then here we have a, I'm going to butcher this name, but a Toctomish, I think it is. Um, he is painted by me, actually. He is really cute. And then here we have a Chewy Resin, who is painted by Lynn Castles Caldwell, who I am very fortunate enough to be able to show with, so I give her ponies all the time. And then moving on to customs, we have this little rearing Schleich pony that I painted a little while ago. And then we have a little Schleich Startapple Grey Icelandic pony, who is also painted by me. And then in the back there, we have a little blue roan, um, Sam at Clydesdale that I painted, who I have been trying to sell for a while. Then we have this little quarter horse, who I also painted. And then in the back there, we have a chestnut warm blood, who is painted by Briar Lady. And then we have a little buckskin quarter horse, who is also painted by me. And then we have this really nicely painted warm blood mare, who is painted by Walnut Studios, I do believe. Back there, we have another Stardopple Grey Warmblood, who was also painted by me. These two little paint ponies that I bought back in 2015 when I actually went to a show in the States. And then we have three Schleich that I painted. Um, there's a little Appaloosa, and then there is a Dappled Bay Warmblood. And then a little... He's on the Frisian mold, but he's a Gypsy Vanner. Moving on to the next shelf down, here's a little overview of it. So starting off with this guy, this is a Glossy Kentucky. He is from the Collector Club Appreciation Models from this year. Well, actually last year, but he was given out this year because they had to be pre-ordered. Um, yeah, he's really, really nice. I actually like him better in gloss than in matte. I don't even have a matte one, but I've seen the matte ones in person, and I quite like the glossy one better. And then we have a Geronimo, who is a Premier Club model. I hope it's in focus. Then we have this guy, who is painted by Julie Cooper in 2001, if you can believe it. He has such nice details not want to focus. There we go. He has such subtle dappling. His face is just the cutest. He will never be leaving my collection, that's for sure. It's so dark in here, it's kind of hard to see, but the rest of my silvers, there is the Treasure Hunt Bay Pinto. There is Star Studded. There is another Treasure Hunt, which is the um, Dun Sabino, I do believe. And then we have Rico, who was a Briarfest store special from 2019. The whole thing over here was actually won by my True North at a show. It was just like kind of a joke thing. 
just because he's so chubby, so I got the chubby pony prize. <laughs> and then this guy was won by my Alborosa at a show, who is right here. He has very nice shading on him. And I'm so happy that I finally got to own one. I bought him at Briarfest last year. And I was so excited because he was the only one that I actually saw for sale. The next shelf down is my Othello's. I really like this mold. I really want to have a complete Congo on it someday. As well as my Lonesome Glory mold. But here's a little overview of them. So starting off with a Fox Valley Oliver. I have two of them. This one is actually body quality so I actually use them for photo shoots. And then we have my um, SBH Phoenix. And then a Mariah's Boone. And then we have my Pamplemousse, who was a holy grail of mine for a really long time, and I'm so happy that I finally own him. And then here is my LSQ, Fox Valley Oliver. And then we have a Winter Song. And then a Matte Winter. Going down to the next shelf, we complete my Othello's, which is a blue Santa surprise that I am keeping. Then my Xavier. And then we have another blue Santa surprise that I have been trying to sell. And then we have my Shannon Dells, which I am getting three more from my Briarfest haul for this year. So here is the Grey Shire. Here is the braided Shannon Dell. I can only dream to get a loose mane at this point because they're going for so much money. And then we have my Marcus. I actually really like this horse. He has really nice shading on him. This is a Marabella resculpted custom by Monticello Studios. She has roses in her mane and in her tail. Her neck is resculpted. She has ribbons in her mane as well. These are really, really, really nice custom in my opinion. Next is my very last shelf on this shelf. I hope it's in focus because my camera does not want to cooperate. Here's a little overview. Here is Paint Me a Pepto. This is Out of the Blue, I do believe it is. This is the Vintage Club Charlie. This is Sheila from Briarfest 2016. She was a special run. And then these are my Samba surprises from 2016. All of them are matte. I don't like the decorator, so I only have the three other variations of them. So here's the Buckskin, who is my all-time favorite of them. Then here is the Black Overo. And then the Dappled Palomino. Moving on to my all-time favorite shelf. Um, here is my resin section of this shelf little overview of it. I will start off over here. This is a JT Cornpone, I do believe he is. I've had him for a really long time and haven't gotten him painted, just like most of my resins. <laughs> and then down here we have two customs by Honey Gibbons. This is actually, it's kind of hard to pick it up on camera, but she is a blue with green zebra stripes. She's really cute. And then this little cutie who I absolutely adore, who is like a little splash paint but in rainbow colors. It's just absolutely adorable. And then over here we have a not so great re-sculpt of mine. It's not want to focus, but it is a pregnant quarter horse mare that I did a while ago. And then over here we have another um, safari custom that I did. And then moving on up, we have my silver lining, who I am so happy to own one, that is intact because they break so easily. And then over here I have my Pluto resin, who is by Da Vinci Creations, or Vincent. And then over here we have another little custom by Lynn Castles Caldwell. He's a little mini Andalusian, doubled bay, he's absolutely gorgeous. He was actually the mini-me of my friends Alborozo, so I have a couple pictures of them together. If I can find them, I'll put them in right now. And then last but not least on this shelf, my absolute pride and joy, 
Here is my nitro resin, who was also painted by Lynn Castles Caldwell. He has a lot of detail in his face and just everywhere. He is absolutely gorgeous. He has amazing dapples. My camera wants to focus. Just the detail in him is amazing and his little dirty feet. This horse will always be in my collection. I love him very dearly. Moving on to my other pride and joys. Here is my Lonesome Glory Conga shelf. Although some of them are on another shelf as well. But here's an overview of this one. So over here I have my Zenyatta's first cult. And then I have my Zenyatta as well. Then we have Athlete Alex, and then we have Tinseltown, Seattle Slough, who is wearing the wristbands from last year's Briarfest, <laughs> and then we have the Matt Akaltech, and then we have Mirror Image and Reflector, and then we have um, Wapasha. So next Lonesome Glory shelf down, we have these guys, and it's very satisfying that almost all of them on the shelf are wearing blankets. So over here we have Parlap, then Going for Gold, and then the Glossy Buckskin Kel Surprise, and then the Matte Buckskin Kel Surprise, the Glossy Chestnut Pinto Kel Surprise, and then the Matte version of the Chestnut Pinto Kel Surprise. And then I have the Matte Perlino Cal Surprise. I do not have a glossy yet, sadly. And we have the Matte Appaloosa Cal Surprise. And I do not have a glossy version of him either. There, I, I've set up a light so that you can kind of see this one better because it wouldn't focus at all. So here is the next shelf of my Lonesome Glory Conga. So starting over here, we have By a Nose. And then we have the re-release version of the Lonesome Glory, who is a store special from Briarfest Off to the Races, which I do believe was 2018, correct me if I'm wrong. And then we have the original Lonesome Glory. And then we have Custom Made. And then we have a American Pharaoh Custom, who didn't actually turn out the way that I wanted him to, but it's by uh, Bruchette Studios, I do believe. And then we have my other pride and joy, who is a um, Nez Pierce custom by Kathy McKenzie. He is absolutely stunning. He has so much detail. I absolutely love this horse. And it's very unfortunate that she has passed away, so I will only be able to dream of owning more Lonesome Glories like this by her. And then moving back on over, we have my Thrill Seeker, and then we have a Man o War custom, who was also done by Lynn Castles Caldwell. I have a lot of customs by her, if you haven't noticed by now. Let's see if it'll focus on his face. He has very, very expressive eyes. And then last but not least is the last Lonesome Glory shelf on this shelf. Um, here's a little overview. So over here we have Red Rum, and then we have the matte version of Debonair, and then we have Mardi Gras without his dorsal stripe, and then we have Mardi Gras with his dorsal stripe, and then we have another custom over here, but I can't remember who he's by to save my life, and I can't read the signature on his stomach, unfortunately. And then over here we have Woodland Splendor, and then we have another... Lonesome Glory custom, who this guy is actually kind of cool. He's lost his acrylic peg, so he doesn't stand the way that he's actually supposed to, but he's supposed to stand like this, and he's supposed to have an acrylic peg in his front foot, but somebody has actually removed it, unfortunately. So I have to get one put back in. So unfortunately, because he doesn't actually fit standing up on my shelf, he has to kind of lean on some little chunks of wood. <laughs> And then we have another Lonesome Glory custom, who was done by Victoria W. of Desert Rose Studios. Here are my Schleich shelves. 
I'm just going to give you a little overview of them because there's way too many models to go through all of them and who they are and everything like that and I don't remember some of them so here's just an overview and then down to the other shelf they're kind of very crowded with a bunch of different animals at the moment and then down to my little Cleveland Bay conga. I really do adore this mold and just like the Lonesome Glory and Othello's, I would love to have a complete conga eventually. So here's a little overview of this shelf. So here we have a body quality O'Leary. Then we have my LSQ O'Leary. Then we have Trooper. Tunbridge Wells. Another custom by Monticello Studios. We have Griffin, and then Oliver, who is the celebration model from last year's Briarfest. Moving down to another Lonesome Glory shelf, actually. I put the light on again because it's very dark over here, so it's kind of hard to see, and my camera doesn't like to focus. But here's a little overview of it, and it has a little Cleveland Bay at the end. So starting off here, we have a custom done by me, who is honestly not the greatest. So she was a custom done of one of the horses that I used to work with. Then we have another custom who I don't remember who she was done by unfortunately. And then a little Appaloosa custom who I once again don't remember who he was done by unfortunately. And then we have a, another custom by Monticello Studios. And then here we have a Doppled Palomino done by Danielle Dunn. And then we have this custom, well, I'm not sure who it's by, but it needs a lot of repairs done to it. And then over here we have um, another custom who actually needs to be repaired and everything like that, who was done by Waterfall Studios, I do believe the name is. And then we just have a Acaltech body that I need to get painted. And then over here we actually have a Oliver who is missing his little um, dot on his face like that one has. So I thought that was kind of a cool variation to take out of box. And then the last shelf on this shelving unit is this one. So here we have Hakan, I think his name is. He's the TSC exclusive from last year. And then we have Frankel, Rushmore, and Secretariat. And then over here we have Emerson, who is a Premier Club model. And then we have Rocket, who is a special run from Briarfest 2019. And then over here we have some stones. This guy is a Matt Bladesmith. And then we have a factory custom one of a kind, but I don't remember what his name is, unfortunately. And then over here we have another one of a kind who is called Butter Brickle. Here is my neck shelf. This is my shelf with my Audios Conga on it. So over here we have um, Cherry Creek something. I don't remember the rest of his name. And then we have Champagne Toast. This is Clayton, this is Yellow Mount, and then this is the original Audios. And then we have Rugged Lark, this is Try Me Boot Scoot and Boogie. And then I have a matte quill from last year's Briarfest that I am actually trying to sell. So next shelf down we have my SEO Congo, which is actually another Congo that I wish to complete someday. So over here we have a matte quill from Briarfest 2019, who I am keeping. Then we have a glossy Latigo Dunnet, who was the Collector Club Appreciation Models from last year. And then we have a matte Latigo Dunnet. There's a big difference between the two of them. And then we have a Gideon. And then over here we have Smart Chicolina. And then we have Smart and Shiny, who is the Celebration Horse from 2013. And then we have Big Checks to Cash, who was my very first SEO. And then down here is where we have my Peter Stone Standing Drafter Conga, as well as two trotting drafts on the end. So here we have a 
one of a kind, we're pretty sure. We can't find him on the website and he's not a DAH, so we're not really sure where he's come from. But he's very cute. And then we have Stamp. And then this is Aslan, I do believe. This is Winter. And then this is another custom by Monticello Studios. And then we have um, a one of a kind. His name is James. And then we have Thor. Next shelf down looks like this. So here we have Hickory Hills Wall Street, who is actually my mom's donkey. And then over here we have Yasmin, who is uh, a Premier Club model. And then we have Kaylee, I think her name is pronounced. I'm not 100% sure. She is a Briarfest special run. I can't remember what year it was from. And then over here we have Xena, who is the unicorn version of this mold. Kind of squished in back here is Reno, who is actually the live show benefit model, I do believe, from 2017. I could be wrong. And then over here we have George. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his name. I think it's George. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> he is also a Premier Club model. And then over here we have Bristol, who is a Premier Club model as well. And then last but not least on these four shelves are these guys. Here we have the original Totalus. And then we have... Winter Wonderland, I do believe his name is. That could be wrong. And then we have Cortez C. Justify. And then Cafe Ole. And then we have um, New Market, I do believe. And then uh, Little Texas, I think. I think so. <laughs> and then we have Holly, who was one of the Gambler's Choice Christmas horses from the Collector Club back in 2015. So next up we're going to do my curio cabinet. So this is the top shelf. I am missing a bunch of resins right now because they are out being painted so there's a few missing from what you may have seen last time when I did a collection tour. So in here we have at the back that is a Marvin resin and at the front here this little chestnut is a Boris resin I do believe it is pronounced. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then over here we have a little Peter Stone chip custom, who is also done by Lynn Castles Caldwell. Moving down to this shelf, we have my Thunderbutt. And then this is a Crocus resin done by Da Vinci Creations. This is a mini Hazel. And then this is a resculpted bouncer custom that I have yet to paint. This is a little horse head medallion that I got at Briarfest 2016 because I had my Instagram name on my t-shirt from Maggie Bennett. It's kind of hard to see, it's really tiny, it's about the size of a dime. Okay, I had to sit on the floor to do these two, but these are socks and sneakers. They're really adorable. I have yet to find a color to paint them as. Down here we have my Murdoch resin, who is sculpted by Chrysalis Studios. I'm not really sure who painted him, or if she painted him. So up in the shelf in the corner is my Cloud9, who doesn't have a stand because it broke, so he just kind of lays there. And then we have a Marrakesh resin. I can't remember who he sculpted by. And then we have my Altenai, I think it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure, but he is the new Premier Club model for this year. So over on this shelf, I don't have very many horses. The shelf is actually pretty empty, which is good considering I have a lot of horses coming from Briarfest. But let's start off with Jingles. And then we have uh, Duende. And then Dominate, I think it is. And then we have uh, Fabio. We have Patrick, and then we have um, Magic Man's Grand Slam, I do believe his name is. Then just down below them, I have a Grazing Mare in full. And then I have a Saddle Mule. 
and then I just have a little Holstein cow. On the next shelf, I have a bunch of resins and some Lonesome Glory re-sculpts. So this on the end here is Alonzo, and then we have Falkirk, then Fraxinus, and then a braided phoenix, and then that is Twister, and then we have a Cantering Lonesome Gloria re-sculpt by Frost Studios, and then a gal well hand galloping Lonesome Glory re-sculpt by I can't remember who partially sculpted her. And then we have this really, really destroyed body who is like melted to a pulp. He's pretty ugly. But I plan to get him re-sculpted into something very nice, so that should be good for him. And then over in this little crevice in the corner, we have some Schleich, just kind of chilling, so I'll just do a little overview of them. Also in the corner here, I have a scamper from Briarfest 2018 that is still in his box, as well as a Priscilla and a Corbin. Over here is my other stablemate shelf, so I'm just going to do a little overview of that because I don't feel like pointing out who they all are, and most of them are just kind of regular run OFs. And then over here, kind of sitting against my closet, I have uh, a bunch of just new in box horses. I'll pull some of them down so that you can see them better. So here is some of the classics. Then there's this guy. Oopsie. And then this guy. And then there is a fly sheet set. Sorry if it's not in focus, it's kind of hard to tell. And then here I have a new in box fire and a new in box Barbaro and this is actually the box that was made before he had passed away. So that's kind of cool to have. And then over here I have a new in box Puku. And I've been in a debate with myself on if I'm actually going to take him out of his box or not. This guy is a Hippo Crocus resin done by Da Vinci Creations. I really love this guy. There's so much detail in every little aspect of him. The only problem is, is I'm so nervous about him standing that I leave him in his pony pouch for now. But other than that, he is absolutely stunning. Sorry if it's not in very good focus, but then I have the... Our CMP horse from Briarfest 2019. And then I also have a 30th anniversary stablemate set that I am going to be selling that was also from Briarfest 2019. And then I have my poor little California Chrome over here. He was actually sent to Da Vinci Creations to get completely re sculpted and painted. If I can find the photo, I will post it here of what he used to look like. He did an amazing job on him, and the first time that he sent him back to me, he ended up breaking pretty badly. He lost an ear, and had some cracked legs and everything. If I can find those photos, I'll post that here as well. But then he uh, actually let me send him back for free, and get him all fixed up, and then when he sent him back to me again, unfortunately he suffered a broken tail. I don't know if it's going to be able to... There you go. He has a broken tail and he has a crack in his one leg. I think it's this leg. I'm not 100% sure what's it's this leg. Yeah, there it is. But it's very unfortunate so now I'm just going to be looking for a repair artist around me to fix him up. I've already asked Vince said that's okay, and he said it is, so that's perfect, and hopefully he can be fixed up to his former glory very soon. The last two models in this room are these guys. 
back there is a glitterati I do believe he is he was given to me as a birthday present by my best friend so he just sits up there and then there is Sarge who is the pop-up store stablemate from Briarfest 2019 I've just left him in the packaging because I actually quite like it I apologize in advance if you can hear the annoying humming of my fish tank in the background but now we are moving on into the models that are in my room so this is the shelf that is above my desk. Here's a little overview of the shelf. So starting off with these two little Schleit customs, I did these two little Schleit customs a few years ago. They just kind of do nothing but sit there. And then moving up here to my little Zippo conga, which is also another conga that I would love to have a complete version of one day. So starting off with this guy, this is a custom done by Sarah Cooper who is one of my best hobby friends. He's really really amazing custom, I really like him. Then moving on we have the original Zippo Pine Bar, then we have Little Ricky Rocker, and then we have Zipped in Black Magic who was the store special from Briarfest 2019. And then we have Zip's Chocolate Chip. And then we have Rugged Painted Lark. And then we have Fleet Street Max. And then we have Northern Dancer. This is actually a funny little custom that my friend did. She sent him to me as a body and I kind of liked him. And then we have Sato, Aintree, and Nosfera 2. Then we have my two little springtime fillies. This is um, Espresso, and then I'm not 100% sure on what this one's name is anymore, to be honest with you. Next, we're going to move on to my little curio cabinet that I have in my room. Here is the top shelf of it. So starting off with um, my DAH-ish that I bought a few years ago. Here's a swishy tail. Um, then next we have... I think his name is Shy Noah, and then we have Hot Spots, and then this is Orange Saffron, who is a Peter Stone Morgan, and then we have my little Giselle Conga, this is Melange, and then a glossy Gigi Valentine, and then the matte Gigi Valentine, and then the glossy Heartbreaker. Matt Heartbreaker, and then a little custom that I did a few years ago that I actually just bought back. Moving down to the next shelf is where I have my Peter Stone Arabians, and then the last of my Giselles and Gillens. So over here we have Tomcat, and then this is a custom done by Sugar Sweet Studios, I think it is. And then we have a, another DAH. He's that angry little Arabian. And then over here we have my favorite guy who is also a DAH. He's absolutely gorgeous. And then over here we have another one of my grumpy Arabians. I can't remember what his name is, but there's five of them made. And then over here we have Cuervo in the Morning, I think it is. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. And then we have the rest of my Gillens. So this is just the little Thoroughbred from the Thoroughbred and Hackney set. And then this is Regal. And then the mare is Rosalind. They're the unicorn variations. And then over here is the little Hackney from the Thoroughbred and Hackney set. And then down here we have my Forever Sages. And my Ida Kisses. So over in the corner there we have Nevermore. And then we have the original Forever Sage. This is Moon Dance, I think. This is the Glossy Namid from Briarfest 2016. This is um, Huin. And this is Bisbee. The only ones I am missing are a Matte Namid and a Glossy Huin. And then over here we have my Ida Kisses. This is Wapiti. And then we have Snowman. And then we have the braided variation of bow. Down here we have my little Nakota conga.
Over here we have a Shaveo. He's actually etched, so he's technically not OF anymore. And then we have the Palomino Pop the Cork from 2014, I do believe, from Briarfest. And then we have the Chestnut Pop the Cork. And then we have the original Nakoda. And then we have Isadora Cruz. And then up on top of my TV stand, I just have these three little classics. These two little Arabians. I really like this mold. And then I just have this running guy back here. And then last but not least, we have all the models that are in my closet. I'll just kind of give you an overview of my closet. It's kind of difficult because of the ceiling in here is so low, so bear with me. So over here is kind of a disaster with boxes everywhere. I need to clean it up. But there is a shelf over here. And then the shelf goes all the way around. Goes up there. And then back up a bit. We have a shelf over here as well. So up on top of the shelf here we have my little newsworthy conga. I am waiting for a few from Briarfest. So here we have easy to spot. And then we have the Connemara Pony that is the braided version. And then we have Cupcake. And then we have Baloo. And then there's just a body over there. Moving down to the shelves, we have Gathering Storm, Milton, and Hickstead. And then we have my Ashkar Conga. So we have Abdul, I think his name is. And then the original Ashkar. And then Empress. And then over here we have Saran, and then we have a Matte Thunder, and then the Glossy Thunder. And then down here we have my Indian Pony, Fire Magic, who is a Celebration Horse. I think it was from 2005, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then we just have the Warehouse Fine um, Drafter guy over here. Moving over we have a web special Avoriaz, and then we have the Premier Club Karina and Celine, and then we have Lightning Ridge over here. Sorry if this is not a very good angle, it's kind of hard to get angles over here, but we have uh, Naomi and Winona, we have Stella who is the TSC horse from uh, last year, and then we have Enchanted. And then down here we have my American Pharaoh, and then Pepper who was a special run from Briarfest 2019, and then we just have um, a Roy. And then over here we have Bee's Knees, we have the Black Tie Affair Strapless, and then we have Sierra Rose I think she is, she is also a Briarfest special run, I don't remember what year she's from though. And then we have a Sarah Monet. And then the last shelf we have uh, another Briarfest Celebration horse. I can't remember how to pronounce his name to be honest with you so I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> and then we have these two little Family Arabian Stallions that have carriage tack that are actually built in on them. So I can't really take it off because the bits actually go through their mouths. So they just kind of sit there. Okay, moving on to the middle section of my closet. I just have some classics over here, so I'm just kind of going go over those. So this is Cupcake, and then we have just a regular run, Halflinger Mare, and then we have the Clouds Legacy set, or Clouds Encore set, sorry. And then over here we have Bucky, who was a special run from Briarfest 2019. And then over here we have my little Imperador conga. We have the original Matt Imperador from Briarfest 2016. He was the celebration model. And then we have my Matt Enzo. And then my glossy Enzo, who was a collector club appreciation model from last year. And then over here we have my Christmas candy zebras. So there's the green one. The red one, the blue one, and the gold one. I have the whole set other than Cole, which I can only dream to own. Moving on over, we have Van Gogh, and then we have 
Wish and Wonder, and then the original Misty and Stormy, and then we have Cor de Leon, and then we have um, Scotty, who is the Uncalled For variation. And then over here we have Sapphire and Emerald, who were Christmas horses. I don't remember from what year. Brookside Pink Magnum. And we have Icicle. And then we have Bilberry, who I was very fortunate to win. And then we have Justin Morgan and Baxter. And then we have Henry. And then my Peter Stone Pony Baldy. And then we have my Croix Conga. This is uh, with a little full is Caspian, and then that is Cascade. That is Cypress, who was a vintage club run, I do believe. And then we have Beachcomber. This is Starlet, I think. And then that is Banks Vanilla. And then we have Shadow and Bluebell. And then we have my two Callahans. There's the Palomino one and the Silver Bay one. And then we have Elska, and then Smoke and Double Dutch. And over here we have Eve and Claus, who are um, little Christmas horses from 2015, I want to say. That could be wrong, though. And then over here we have um, Jake and Sam Hain. And then we have Cedric, the original show jumping Warmblood. And I have only just come to realize that I'm going to be getting six of the celebration models from this year. Well, that is a lot of show jumping warm bloods. And then over here we have the Glossy and Matt Fletchers. And then we have Bozeman, who was a special run from Briarfest 2016. And then we have my little Gypsy Van Conga, which is going to be added to with the models from Briarfest. So we have Alejandro. And then we have Samson, who is a TSC horse from last year. And then we have Dagdia, who is a store special from Briarfest 2016. Unfortunately, I was not able to get him at Briarfest, but I was able to buy him secondhand for a decent price. And then over in the corner there, we have the original Gypsy Banner. I'll just go over the few models that are on the floor quick. So here we have Cupid and Arrow. I'm in a debate with myself on if I'm going to take them out of their box or not. And then we have two Jessies. I'm going to be probably opening one and then selling the other. I haven't really decided yet. And then up on the top shelf here we have Ryan and Cadell who were Premier Club models. And then we have a little Legionero custom who was done by Angela Dimmick. And then we have Lucian and then another custom who was done by Angela Dimmick as well. And then we have the Golden Villegro and the regular run Bella Grow. And then we have a Christmas horse that is Noel. And then we have the original Goffert. And then red carpet royalty. I'll just kind of try to zoom in on them a little. And then the very last shelf we have my banjo who just kind of chills up there. And then over here, hopefully it'll focus. I have a new inbox signed Dominante by his rider, who was signed at Briarfest 2019. I was lucky enough to see her signing them in the store, and I bought one immediately afterwards. Then we have my Lady Face Conga, there is Truly Unsurpassed. And then we have the Palomino Pinto uh, Treasure Hunt model. And then over here we have Treasured Moves, and her little Philly Dakota. And then over here we have Naughty and Lafayette, and then Mirror Woods. And then over here we have Dundee, who is a Premier Club model, and then Hal, who was a store special from uh, Briarfest 2019. And then we have Carter and Hamilton, who was also a Premier Club model. And then we have uh, Harley D. Zip. And then a Bollywood surprise from Briarfest 2009, or 2017, sorry. And then we have the Christmas horse, his name is Minstrel. And then we have Khalid. And then over here we have True North, who is a Premier Club model. And then Catch Me. 
And then we have Mira and Antares. Does not want to focus very well on these guys, but we have uh, Y Chico. This is Mama Sita. They're from Briarfest 2016. And then this is Celeste. And then the two on the end are uh, Fan Fanatasia and Guzosa, I think it is. And then down here we have a glossy braided Diana from Briarfest 2019. And then we have Cody and Don't Look Twice. And then we have Constellation, Partly Cloudy, and Natasha, who was from Briarfest 2019. And then we have Prism. And then the very last shelf is all of my uh, Hero Surprise from Briarfest 2019. They are all the matte versions. I did not like the decorators, so I actually traded them off. So here we have the Chestnut Pinto, the Champagne, the Dark Dapple Grey, and the Rose Grey. So that concludes the collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It took me a really long time to film. As you can tell, I have a lot of models. That's why I normally just do kind of an overview with music behind it for collection tours. But everybody wanted to see a collection tour with me saying all the who all the models are and everything like that. So I decided to bite the bullet and do it. I apologize for the shelves being so dusty. I was not about to pull everybody off and dust all their shelves. It just takes way too much time. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please leave a like on the video, comment if you want to, and make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.